on like Titanic, we did that, and uh, we did uh, Thanos in Avengers Endgame. Uh, we've done a bazillion uh, films, and over the last 10 years, we've been trying to create virtual humans. And to be clear, this is not a picture of me. This is a picture of my digital character. Um, this all started with the curious case of Benjamin Button. I don't know if you guys saw that, but for the first 45 minutes of that film, when you saw Brad Pitt, you were not looking at Brad Pitt. You were looking at a digital version of Brad Pitt. So this is something that's driven us like crazy. Could we create a digital human that is indistinguishable from reality in real time? And only recently, with a lot of machine learning and a lot of computer or GPU horsepower, have we been able to come close to this. Uh, earlier this year, in April, I was invited to give a TED Talk. And during that TED Talk, um, I was standing on stage, and next to me was standing my digital double on a screen. And it actually worked. <laughs> First of all, giving a TED Talk is scary as all get out, but giving a TED talk, which includes a tech demo that you've never given outside of your company, is the worst thing in the world. So once we did this, it was like, wow, this is really cool. This technology might actually have some legs. And we started looking around at places like this. What we are eventually wanting to do is create digital humans that are autonomous, that don't require me driving them. You know, I, I, right now I have to drive this character with motion capture technology. But Eventually, we're going to have this thing where you can walk up to DigiDoug, that's what we call him DigiDoug, <laughs> and, and ask him questions, he'll answer it back, and it'll look like I'm talking. I will never have to go to another meeting again. <laughs> this, is, this is my goal, and I, I faked out my company so that they're paying for it. <laughs> now, this is really cool if it's on a screen, but the cool thing is, if it's in 3D, then it just sort of goes crazy, right? It's like you're actually talking to a real person that's there. And especially if it has that full presence. Right now you can interact with DigiDug in VR, and it looks, it's really, really cool. But you have to put on everything and it's VR and that's that. Looking at stuff like this, and we're really, really interested in this. And just think, there could be a display somewhere where you walk by it, you'll see a 3D version of me, and I will be able to follow you with my eyes. I'll be able to just watch you as I go because I'm an actual 3D character, not just a person on a screen. Um, the potentials of this are really cool. So I'm, I'm very excited to see what these guys are doing. I still haven't actually seen this product yet. Uh, other people in my company have. So um, I'm gonna hand it back to you, yeah. and uh, we'll 